What's up you guys, Robert here again for another Tovar guitar video lesson. Today we're going to do the song California by Silverstein. This was requested by Tabitha Crump and Medium Rare Bacon, so thank you guys for requesting this one. Um, if you guys like the video, make sure to give me a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you want to get the tabs to this, it's available right now out on my Patreon page, so I'll put a link to that in the description below. Also, follow me on social media, I post there pretty much every day. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, that'll also be in the description. Anyways, you guys, this song is not super hard, but there is, uh, the first thing you gotta know is the tuning. So let's get right into the tuning. Um, so it's C sharp, G sharp, G sharp, F sharp, A sharp, D sharp, so go ahead and get tuned up and let's get right into it. Okay, so the intro, uh, it there's probably two guitars playing this, but there is a descending bass line. Here are the notes to that bass line. It's a G here on the 10th fret, fifth string. So that's the first stop and it does two ref cycles or repetitions on that. Then it goes to an E, seventh fret, fifth string. Then a, a D on the fifth fret here, fifth string. And then the last one's on the third fret, fifth string. Okay, while there's these notes, It's a uh, second string, eighth fret, then seventh fret, then seventh fret, third string. Then does it again. And then at the very last one, it does seven on the first, ten on the second, then on the second, eight. So if you combine those two things, if you can do it, you can get, with your pinky, you can get this one over here and you can go. So with your indexing, you're pretty much barring. See that? And you're with your pinky, so. Let me show you guys my, my right hand over here. Then you're gonna go. Then you go to the next one. This one you just bar straight. fret so you're gonna have some stretching here then the third fret which is a super stretch you got to really relax your hand then that's pretty much it anyways let's get into the next part which is still the intro but the part out right after this Okay, so that's uh, one of the parts to the next part, uh, which is accompanied by some chords behind it, but let's just talk about that part first. So these are octaves, okay? So they're all um, on the same string, the fifth and third string. So you can use your index and your third finger for all of them. You're just gonna slide them around. So the way that's done is, is, uh, is you get, so I'll give you the, the spots. So I'm gonna refer to the spots based on my index finger and um, the third finger is two frets up and two strings over down like that. Okay, so here's on the 14th and what you want to do is um, you want to mute the sixth string, the fourth string, and the bottom two with your index. And the way you do that is you just lay it flat enough to where you touch the other strings and you touch, you can touch the top string with it, see? So everything's muted. You can kind of lay it across, but you, when you strum all the strings through, you can hear the fifth and third string. See, so here I'm actually in, in 
fret number 14. So this would be on the 16th, third fret, see? So you're gonna maintain that shape so it goes, then 12. And then from there, you're gonna do some raking. So. And then you're gonna proceed to fret 10. Nice and slow. 14, 12, break, 10, 9, 5. And after that, it does it, it starts again. And then it does three there, and then it goes shoots up to the 17th. Back to the 10. Then 9. Then, 10, 10, 10, 10, 9. So from that second section again, nice and slow. 14, 12, 10, 17, 10, 9, 10, 12, 7, then, okay. That's pretty much it. And then it, there's some chord behind that. So let's get into the chords that are playing behind that. Okay, so those chords are really easy. It's just the uh, second fret, bottom three strings. Fifth fret, third. I'm sorry, fifth string, third fret. Then you slide that over to the fifth fret. And it's just a very, so let me show you how that goes. So it goes. Then rake just like the previous riff at the same time. Then it's. That's pretty much it. So uh, yeah, pretty straightforward, pretty easy. Let's get into the verses. So that uh, main verse is, that riff is, uh, actually there's two guitars playing it. If you listen to it, you hear the guitars are panned left and right. So there's one guitar doing the power chord, and then there's the other one doing the, in, in the uh, other side. But you can play them together. Um, so it goes like this, so it's. So it's basically just the power chord here on the second fret, bottom three strings. Then you're gonna get the fourth string, fourth fret, and you're gonna strum that one at the same time with the uh, third string. And it gives it that real dissonant sound right there, so. And then after the first uh, cycle of that, you, you're gonna do a palm muted, uh, power chord on the third fret fifth string. So it goes. Then after that second time, it just does five three zero on the second string. You can just pick the first one and just pull off, and then it goes power chord on the fifth string third fret. go into that with that uh, tritone right there so it's gonna be basically that second note of the power chord you just pull it back so I use my middle finger to get it see and then you're gonna add the third string fifth fret so it's gonna be a power chord and then with this finger you're gonna get it as it does a And 
and I, again, that might be a second guitar playing those harmony notes. Uh, but if you played them all with one guitar, that's how you play it. So here's the whole part slowly. It just repeats everything twice. So. goes into the pre-chorus so let's get into that okay so that's the pre-chorus just those two chords uh, it's just the second fret up to the fifth fret and the reason I'm dividing this is because uh, if I made it into a long section with the chorus it would get a little confusing so it's easier to just break it into these little parts so goes right into the chorus so let's get to that okay so that's the chorus uh, here are the chords it's a second fret bottom three string third fret fifth string bottom three open and fifth fret fifth okay so let's go over the order so it's second third fret fifth string open cycle then it starts over open the last one is from, from three to five it goes that's it and then it goes into this little section right after the chorus so let's get to that Okay, so that's those are the same kind of octaves that we did previously so I won't go over how to do that but I'll give you the location it's still this, the fifth string and the third string so it goes uh, the actually the first part of it is exactly like the, the the previous part of the song in the beginning so it goes 14, 12, break That's the first half of it. Then it goes, it starts it again. It goes from 14 to 12, then it shoots up to the 17. Then it goes to the 9. Then 10, 10, 10, 10, 12. So let's go over that real slowly, all of it. 14, 12, break. That's it, and the chords are the same as before. Yeah, you guys know the chords. So let's get to the uh, bridge. Okay, so I'm actually gonna break up the bridge into three sections. So this is uh, part one of the three sections of the bridge <clears throat> and there's uh, these notes and then there's chords below it in this section so the, these two next parts are the same section of the bridge so same as uh, the intro where it descends a bass line but it's basically it basically starts right after the G so it's E minor D and C and those are just the bass lines and then you're gonna go <clears throat> actually this one's most feasible to play as, as a one person guitar but um, again, there might be two guitars, so it's... And 
that's same as before where it's eight, seven, seven, right? On the second and third string. Then you go to the fifth. Same thing there. Then back to the fifth. And here it goes. Okay. And that's pretty much that part. So let's uh, actually let's just do it here all in one shot. So <clears throat> the next part, let me turn on my distortion pedal. It's uh Okay, so that's the second part, and it's really easy. It's just accenting on some chords. So it's second fret, bottom three strings, bottom three strings open, third fret, fifth string, power chord, and back to the open. You're just gonna get them three, uh, four times. get these notes so it's seventh fret fifth string fourth fret sixth seventh fret sixth and then it goes into the next part of the bridge so let's get into that So that's the second part of the bridge and it pretty much just does power chords and this is at this point of the song it's at half time feel so it's pretty much the tempo is still fast but the drums are are at half tempo of that so it feels slower anyway so uh, these are all technically chord notes if it's in half time feel so it's So then that would be 2nd fret, bottom 3 strings, slide it up to the 5th fret, 7th fret, then the 5th string, 3rd fret, power chord, then 5th fret, 5th string, like that. So all together, well, like I just showed you guys. Let's get to the last part of the bridge. So still half time feel, uh, really long chord changes. So here are the the chords. So second fret, second uh, bottom three string, third fret, fifth string power chord, bottom three open, back to the. And this one here on the the first one is four measures. So. measures here four measures open two measures on the fifth uh, fret third uh, fifth string third fret and then two here and it repeats it again just two times total
that's pretty much it. That's the whole song. And that's how you play California by Silverstein. If you guys want to see some more videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Make sure to follow me on social media and get the tabs over on my Patreon page. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.